and welcome to the Edmonds Community College pregame show. Linwood versus Shorewood tonight, early five o'clock start with us head coach Keontae Bankhead. Coach, uh, nice win for the team last week. Let's talk a little bit about the, the um, Marysville Pilchuck game. 35 to 10 win. Uh, you have to like the fact that you got that W. Yeah, I mean, any W is a good W. You know, you always want to get a win in the win column. Um, but Pilchuck's a tough team. Um, they're a playoff team and you know coming into that week you know that's all we preach like we're playing a good team they're organized they're disciplined um overall they're 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 very um they play together mm -hmm. you know um, we were fortunate to to have a couple big plays at towards the end of the game that kind of um made the score the way it was but it was closer than than 35 to 10. um it was slow we had a slow start we had we had a couple penalties that uh, we just couldn't overcome and Eventually, uh, Delon Smiley Tatum finally got an interception, and that kind of opened up the door. And then, um, you know, of course, Alton made a couple big runs, and we got in the end zone. And that was we scored 21 points in the, just the fourth quarter. So, uh, the 35-10 is kind of misleading because it was definitely a closer game than, than what the score shows. But uh, we came out with the victory. Um, that's a good program. So, uh, to beat a program like that, you know, coming from Linwood, you know, it's always going to be huge. So. We'll take it. And defensively, I've got to think you're fairly happy. I mean, you mentioned the Smiley Tatum touchdown. Right. Uh, also, to hold them to 10 points. Uh, talk to me a little bit about week one to week two and how you're feeling about your defense right now. Man, defense played well. Um, they had a couple big plays, but they didn't score in those plays. And so we, we, we've been fortunate this year to have some speed. So if guys do kind of break away, we've got some guys like Riley Johnson on defense, um, DeLon on defense, um, all, and of course, Mikey Turkman. To, to make up for some of that. Um, but defense has been playing well. I think we gave up only, what, 20, 30 points this season yeah. so far. And I, I calculated earlier, we scored 91. So I'll take that, uh, I'll take that ratio. Um, but defense has been stepping up to the plate. And these guys have been working hard each week in and week out. Um, and a lot, of, a lot of guys are watching more film. And so that just slows the game down when they can kind of expect and know what's going on. So I think that's what's helping us this year is a lot of guys are more mentally um, focused in the game. Now, interesting game tonight. You play a Shorewood team that uh, obviously you know fairly well. They're in your conference. They're right. in your division. Right. A team that lost to Granite Falls by 20 in yeah. their opener, which surprised me a little bit. Uh, had a nice rebound last week. They did lose, albeit only to uh, by four points to Bellingham. Right. You've had a chance to watch the film. Give us a little bit of an overview as to what we can expect tonight from Shorewood. Tonight, uh, Shorewood, they're 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 pretty. They're good at what they do. Um, they have a good quarterback, good running back. Um, and for the guys they do have, the coach is doing a good job of working with what he has. And I mean, they're, they're not a team to sleep on. They've had, you know, they've struggled in the first two games, but they definitely have um, some, some, some guys that can make some plays. And so we just got to keep focused. In games like this, um, I just try to keep my kids not to overlook or worry about the, the following week um, and things of that nature. So we just take each game one by one. And Shorewood, I mean, just watching film, they're, they're organized and they, they do a little bit of tricky stuff uh, just to get you off balance and stuff that you have to prepare for during the week. And it takes time out of maybe special teams and because you want to make sure your defense and your offense is all right. Um, but they're, they're doing a good job over there. And I just think in a matter of time, they'll get things rolling. But it's definitely um, a game we, we, we can't sleep on. So I'm, I'm preparing my guys how I do every week from if we're playing the number one team, middle team, lower team, it doesn't matter. Each week should be the same for us. And now offensively, do you need to do anything differently based on the schemes that they run? Or do you do you just run Linwood offense? What are you doing tonight? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna run we're gonna run Linwood offense. Um, what we've seen what they're giving us on defense is pretty much um, we, we we're gonna run the same stuff we normally run. We tweaked a couple of our passing routes um, uh, based on how they line up on defense, and I think I think we'll be all right just running our basic stuff. Um, we don't want to give too much away. We kind of keep our, our offense in a progression mode um, all season. So keep teams kind of guessing, you know, what are they going to do next and things of that nature. But I think this week, um, tonight, we'll, 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 we'll stick to the script and do what we're, you know, we call it bread and butter and do what we're pretty pretty much good at. Definitely. And yeah. since we're not broadcasting your game next week, since it's a road game at Veterans State right. Stadium up in Snohomish, I know your coaches uh, like to look at things one game at a time. Right. But, uh, <laughs> I have to ask, it's Linwood, it's Snohomish next week. Right. Uh, 
could very well come down to that game for the this the uh, division championship. Right. Have you had a chance? I know you watched Snohomish so a little bit because you Just had to in preparing for Marysville Pilchuck. Right. So we watched the game yeah. against Pilchuck, um, and they look good. You know, they, they they look strong. They got they got a couple guys. They got a quarterback. They got a running back, um, and they got a wide receiver. You know, and when you got those three things in high school, you're gonna good be combo. good. You're gonna have a good program. <laughs> And, you know, they're strong up front. So it's definitely going to be a challenge for us. Um, and I, I think their strength will be, you know, just the numbers they have. You know, the depth will probably play an issue. But, you know, we condition our guys. And I think they'll be ready for, you know, they'll be ready for any team we face this year. But I just, I think that uh, we, we, we just, we, we got to take each, each game, you know, one by one. So I don't want to talk too much about sure, the homies. Sure until we get there but um, they're definitely they're definitely on our radar for sure and uh, I, the kids are talking about it already and I just I'm just trying to keep them focused on this week um, but but the Snohomish definitely have a good program going over there but I think it's going to be a good game and I'm excited for it definitely so again tonight just a few moments away we've got Shorewood I'm giving you the two week preview so we've got right. Snohomish coming up after that and coach by the time we're doing this pregame show two weeks from today yes, certainly hope we're talking about a 4-0 team be Man, nice that would be lovely that would be lovely <laughs> So I did a couple stats earlier, um, me and Rob, the AD here, and the last time Linwood was in the playoffs was 1995. Wow, okay. Yeah, 95 or 96. And so it'll be huge. It'll be huge for um, this team, you know, for this football program and, and definitely for the culture in the school. Um, and actually tonight is our staff appreciation night, mm -hmm. and this has been the biggest turnout I've seen so far since I've been at, at Linwood. So it's definitely going to be good to just see all those guys support the football program. So we've got the staff there, we've got the student body, the football team is definitely going to be there, right? and we'll see what happens. So again, uh, this is the Edmonds Community College pregame show. Coach Keontae Bankhead, Coach, good luck tonight, good luck next Appreciate week, it. and we'll talk to you again in two weeks. Yes, sir. Edmonds Community College. Join Edmonds CC in celebrating its 50th anniversary at its celebration kickoff event Friday, September 16th, starting at 4 p.m. on Triton Field. For more information, go to www.edcc.edu forward slash 50.